Hello, my name is Megan and welcome back to my series, A Little Quarantine on the Prairie. Obviously, it is inspired by my current life, current events. This girl is taking social distancing very seriously and I hope you are too. That being said, I know I'm not the only one who is stuck at home with my family, figuring out a new routine, doing all the things, the school, the food, just the life from home. And I wanted to start this series just to encourage and kind of show you what I'm doing with Mal of this fun time that I have now. So in today's episode, episode number two, I'm gonna bring you along with me and you're gonna watch me cook half a turkey for the first time. Yes. So when I went out on my last supply run, one thing I really needed was meat. Did not have a ton of it. And the store was pretty picked over. So I improvised and one of the things they had was half a turkey. Yeah. So that's what I bought, half a turkey. So it has been thawing in my fridge for the past three days. It was frozen solid, so I just stuck it straight in the fridge. We're going to cook it up, portioning out the meat and using it for different meals. Also, if you hear a lot of racket, that's life now because kids, laundry, dishwasher, it's all happening all at once. Okay, there's the Turk. It's been thawing. It has lost a lot of its juices, which is nasty. But it is ready, I'm pretty sure, to go in the crock pot. So it says that it is a frozen young turkey breast. Turkey breast with ribs. Portion of back and wing meat. Neck skin. Okay, so that's what this is. Now, I have never cooked one of these before. Not ever. So this is my experimental time. I'm sure it will be fine. I've cooked like whole chickens before in my Instapot. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this open. And mm. Ooh. <laughs> tasty. Now I don't know. Are any of you squeamish about doing this? I'm actually am fine with this kind of stuff. I have a little note about me. I have butchered chickens before with knowledge I learned on YouTube. So, you know, if there's a will, there's a way, right? Hmm, okay. Somehow I'm gonna take this out of the plastic without making too big of a mess, I hope. Okay, there is a bag of turkey gravy. Okay, we don't need that for cooking. There is still some ice and slush inside of here. And that's okay because the majority of this is cooked. Yeah, that is half a turkey, isn't it? It's just basically missing the legs and hind quarter. Okay. Okay. Just gonna let that sit like that for a minute. 
Okay, so I could just throw this in my crock pot right now and it would cook fine, but I would like it to be delicious. So, let's see. How to cook a half turkey in the crock pot. Slow cooker turkey breast. Slow cooker turkey breast. Slow cooker. Juicy slow cooker turkey breast. That sounds good. Let's see. Do I have all of the ingredients? So you know we're on a pantry challenge. I'm not gonna just run out and get anything fancy. Um turkey, yes. Head of garlic, no, but I have minced. One onion, yes, but I'm conserving those. Five sprigs of thyme, not likely. Let's see what the rub is. Hmm. I don't know guys, I think I'm just gonna wing it. Totally had the worst camera accident. I actually dropped it and I lost all of my really disgusting footage so you totally miss me sticking my hand inside of a turkey and smearing butter all over it which you're probably happy about so i made a butter butter mix and i put some thyme and garlic salt and rosemary and some pepper made it all into a paste that looks gross and then I have been like rubbing the turkey with it. Yeah, that was lovely. And now I'm gonna stick it in the crock pot. turkeys in the crock pot. I don't know if we're going to eat this tonight because it's already 2.30. So that's fine. I'm just going to let this cook and cook and cook. I'm planning on just cutting up and having the meat anyway. So that'll be it. If I was to do this again, I'm definitely going to wear gloves. Not because I'm afraid of turkey juice, but because the butter got everywhere and it was a mess. It was quite literally a nightmare to clean up. So that is what I would do differently. As far as taste, I don't know yet. So we'll see. That should start making the house at least smell good. Okay, so right now, I think a lot of us are trying to get really creative with what we have. Some of those things are bread items. Those things, you use them up really fast and maybe you can't get them in your area because one, you can't go out, two, you can't, or three, maybe they're just not available. They're hard to find. And not all of us have bread making skills. I can make bread, but it's a learned process. Maybe now's a great time to start learning. Great time. But if you're not quite there yet, it can be a little daunting, especially if you don't have in the ingredients on hand for it, like yeast. Very important if you're gonna make some bread. So I'm gonna try, I've never done this before. So again, first time, but I think it will work good. I'm gonna try making some like Indian flatbread. It's very simple, simple pantry ingredients that most people should have. So my recipe that I'm gonna make calls for flour, oil, baking powder, and salt, and some water, and that's it.
and made two batches because my teenagers will fly through one super fast. So I just dumped it out of the pan. I just kneaded it a little bit. Then I just cut it into equal pieces. And I got eight. griddle to 350 and they're getting nice and bubbly. I'm gonna flip this one over. Probably can let that let him cook a little bit more on each side. I'll flip this see what's going on. Look at that. They look good. These keep my immunity up with nice swigaroo of my homebrew. Actually, this is my homebrewed kombucha and I've been definitely trying to kick it back to help with my nice gut fauna to help keep my immunity high. I'm well stocked, plus I have two gallons brewing over there, so I'm not in any danger of running out for a while. So the flatbread have turned out to be a huge success. My kids ran through, they've eaten lots today. The stack has definitely dwindled down, but there's still a lot here. It was simple, easy, it made a lot of food, and I think tonight we are going to turn these into some little like flatbread pizzas. Now, I didn't film this, but I did. <laughs> they don't look beautiful. I made a grain-free version using cassava flour, and they turned out kind of okay. They look terrible, <laughs> but they don't taste bad. So here's a fun fact about me. I am actually grain-free. So, that's fun. I'm trying to be creative and come up with a lot of different options for me so that I can actually stay on my plan for what works best for me. So yeah, getting creative. So the turkey is smelling amazing. It's not gonna be done for supper, but that's okay because I'm going to just cut the meat up and um, portion it out 
so that it will be able to last a while. If we just ate this as a meal, it would be gone fairly quickly with the amount of us. So I'm going to kind of ration that out. But it smells so good and I think I did a good job with my first turkey. So that concludes the second episode of Little Quarantine on the Prairie. I hope you all are safe and healthy and getting creative with what's in your pantry. We'll see you next time.